Yechezkeel Ezekiel 45. Moreover, when ye shall divide eth by lot the land for inheritance, ye shall offer an oblation unto Yahuwah, a holy portion, portion of the land. The length shall be the length of five and twenty thousand reeds, and the breadth shall be ten thousand. This shall be holy in all the borders thereof round about. Of this there shall be for the sanctuary five hundred in length, with five hundred in breadth, square round about, and fifty cubits round about for the suburbs thereof. And of this measure shall you measure the length of five and twenty thousand, and the breadth of ten thousand, and in it shall be the sanctuary and the most holy place. The holy portion of the land shall be for the priests, the ministers of the sanctuary, which shall come near to minister unto Eth Yahweh, and it shall be a place for their houses and a holy place for the sanctuary. And the five and twenty thousand of length and the ten thousand of breadth shall also the Leviim the ministers of the house have for themselves for a possession for twenty chambers. And ye shall appoint the possession of the city five thousand, rather, five thousand broad and five and twenty thousand long over against the oblation of the holy portion. It shall be for the whole house of Yashara'el. And a portion shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other side of the oblation of the holy portion and of the possession of the city. Before the oblation of the holy portion and before the possession of the city from the west side westward and from the east side eastward and the length shall be over against one of the portions from the west border unto the east border in the land shall be his possession in Yashara'el and my princes shall no more oppress eth my people, and the rest of the land shall they give to the house of Yashara'el, according to their tribes. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Let it suffice you, O princes of Yashara'el, remove violence and spoil, and execute judgment and justice, Take away your exactions from my people, says Adonai Yahweh. Ye shall have just balances and a just ephah and a just bath. The ephah and the bath shall be of one measure, that the bath may contain the tenth part of a homer and the ephah, the tenth part of a homer. The measure thereof shall be after the homer, and the shekel shall be twenty geras, twenty shekels, five and twenty shekels, fifteen shekels shall be your manah, this is the oblation that ye shall offer, the sixth part of an ephah 
of a homer of wheat. And ye shall give the sixth part of an ephah of a homer of barley. Concerning the ordinance of oil, the bath of oil, ye shall offer the tenth part of a bath out of the kor, which is a homer of ten baths, for ten baths are a homer. And one lamb out of the flock, out of two hundred, out of the fat pastures of Yashadael, for a meat offering, and for a burnt offering, and for peace offerings, to make reconciliation for them, says Adonai Yahweh. All the people of the land shall give this oblation for the prince in Yashara'el. And it shall be the prince's part to give burnt offerings and meat offerings and drink offerings in the feasts and in the new moons and in the Shabbatoth in all somnities of the house of Yashadael. He shall prepare at the sin offering, and at the meat offering, and at the burnt offering, and at the peace offerings, to make reconciliation for the house of Yashadael. Thus says Adonai Yahweh, in the first month, in the first day of the month. You shall take a young bullock without blemish and cleanse at the sanctuary. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering and put it upon the posts of the house and upon the four corners of the settle of the altar and upon the posts of the gate of the inner court and so you shall do the seventh day of the month for everyone that errs and for him that is simple. So shall ye reconcile at the house. In the first month, in the fourteenth day of the month, ye shall have the Pikach, a feast of seven days. Matzah shall be eaten. And upon that day shall the prince prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bullock for a sin offering. And seven days of the feast he shall prepare a burnt offering to Yahweh. Seven bullocks and seven rams without blemish daily the seven days and a kid of the goats daily for a sin offering. And he shall prepare a meat offering of an ephah for a bullock, and an ephah for a ram, and a hin of oil for an ephah. In the seventh month, in the fifteenth day of the month, shall he do the like in the feast of the seven days, according to the sin offering, according to the burnt offering, and according to the meat offering, and according to the oil.